Uh, one of the other uh, sort of tech demos that we have is um, if you have the geometry of your environment and you want to start placing uh, characters in that space, uh, you can imagine turning your living room into a fantasy environment, and uh, I can look at the trees and the stones. But if I look on the ground, I see this little wizard. But he's only about six inches tall. So if I actually want to interact with the wizard, I just sort of squat down. Oh, whoops, I hit the back <laughs> There's my thumb. I found the piano. So to interact with the wizard, all I have to do is sort of squat down to his level. Right. And now I can sort of look at the trees and the mushrooms from his perspective and sort of interact directly with his character. If I stand back up, I can sort of tell him, all right, let's now explore this space. And he'll sort of walk over to that part of the room. Um, in this demo, there's some more buildings, but they're on the other side of this wall, so I actually can't physically get to them right now. Um, but if I lay out the, the gaming assets, uh, respecting the geometry of my house, uh, we could essentially walk around the whole space and, and interact with the game characters and have you know, my living room be a castle and my bedroom be sort of a safe haven, uh, or even play hide and seek with the character. Uh, happening on the on the tablet? Um, what's happening is that the tablet is determining how far you are away with an object. Um, so it knows how close I am getting to the carpet. So we're pretty much getting to ground level towards the zombie. That's crazy. Take out a bigger weapon and just blow them up. And what's really cool is that you can, as you're moving up, you can also see the Statue of Liberty. You can even go as far as like walking around her as well. So you've actually mapped this room and it is it becomes the game environment? We actually, what's, the beauty of our app is that we don't have to pre-map the room. Um, we're using an accelerometer and odometry to determine where the device is in space. Okay. And it's using um, a motion sensor inside uh, to to, to, to determine like what angle you're turning and also turns the map as well. This is, uh, what's the game called? Zombie Gunship Reality. And it's coming later this year for Tango? Correct. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.